Hi loves and welcome to Rogo's High. This is going to be general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. How y'all doing? Um, I'm going to get some messages from the person on your mind, um, as well as messages from Spirit with the tarot cards, okay? So I'm going to start with the index and just see what your person would like to say to you at this time. Um, FYI, the reversals I'll take as your energy and the upright would be the person you're dealing with their energy alrighty um, please take what resonates these messages are general um, and uh, <laughs> it ain't gonna apply to everybody child it's like I don't know sometimes I feel like we shouldn't even have to say that no more but I guess we do <laughs> all right so let's jump into it for Capricorn see the person on your mind what they would like to say to you at this time or how you're feeling in regards to them at this time messages of love and light for capricorn sun moon rising venus signs get a good shuffle and we'll jump right on into that thing <laughs> i'm hearing you like this girl cute <laughs> oh child maybe you guys you a booster huh you want to be a booster <laughs> Look, and you get this try and luck may come your way in the reverse. Alrighty, so I feel as I said, the reversals will take as your energy. Maybe you guys are calm, thinking about becoming a booster, thinking about opening up some type of shop or, you know, doing something, um, you know, some type of entrepreneurship here is what I'm feeling or whatever the case may be. It could also be you trying to pursue some type of passion of yours or um, some type of relationship maybe. But I feel that you guys are being encouraged to try it out. You know, you never know until you try. Okay, Capricorn? Like, nah, I need to know. I need to know everything in and out. <laughs> what else we got? This drip got you in heat in the reverse. All right. So, again, more of your energy. All righty. So, I feel like you guys could be focused on someone that really does make you feel like, whew. They make you feel hot. Hot and bothered is what I'm picking up, all right? With this red energy, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like you're you're viewing this person as, um, oh, no. I just heard out of your league. I don't think they're out of your league, Capricorn. Fuck all that. But, um, I, the, again, like, Spirit is trying to get you to see that you are worth it. And I already just, like, you know, picked up on that energy as well. Like, you have some type of doubts or fears or insecurities to, you know, approach this person. Maybe they just so fucking bond to you. You know, they fine as fuck. Or, you know, you're just intrigued by them and drawn to them. Um, I'm hearing that there's something special about this person that makes you really weak for them already. So... Uh, yeah, you could be a little bit intimidated, but spirit is definitely kind of nudging you like, go ahead, like shoot your shot. <laughs> then you got, say you single and you ready in the reverse. Alrighty, so you are, you know, in the position to, I'm hearing you're emotionally available, um, you're fun, you're excited, you're optimistic at this time, Capricorn, and so I feel like you... Um, there's nothing wrong with that energy. Utilize that energy to really boost your confidence, okay? So I'm, I'm picking up, um, like, someone needs to get out, try something, do something different to boost their confidence. Whatever it is that it's going to take to make you feel better about yourself, um, you know, put yourself out there more, that's what you need to be focused on. So maybe you have a particular hobby or something. Maybe you like to go to the gym. Whatever the case may be, like, you know, do that. Do that. Whatever it takes to boost your confidence because I feel like something is coming your way that is very um, lucky. I'm getting this, like, you know, good luck charm type of vibes. Listen to Jagged Edge, good luck charm, head ass. But I feel like... Um, you know, someone could really be a huge benefit to you, especially emotionally, is when I'm picking up with this person, they're very mature, alrighty, so it could be something worth investing in, you don't want to be too shy and block out your, you know, your good shit, alright, look at this, you acting like you really want it, you go get it, alrighty, so this is in the upright, this is how the um, person that you're dealing with is feeling, so it makes me feel like, this person, they'll fuck with you. That's why Spirit is nudging you in that direction because you don't even realize that you, you know, you are in the position. You are ready. You are available. Like, maybe you are feeling like, I just need to stay by myself. I, I ain't trying to jump into no relationship. And you know, that's your prerogative. But I feel like this person wants to, I feel like they'll be open to you. 
they'll be open to you they will receive you they'll receive that love that you are given and they will reciprocate it alrighty but you're gonna have to stop being shy what the fuck <laughs> Then you have, look, emotional detachment in the reverse. Yeah, you're, you're trying your best to block this out. You're trying to block out some type of uh, feelings. Um, you know, you feel like, mm -mm, I'm trying my best not to fuck with this shit right here because you feel too pulled to this person. You don't want to lose control. We know how that go, Capricorn. I know y'all love to control shit. But it's like to be open and actually give of yourself to someone else or trust in someone else. You don't really know what they're up to, what their motive is. It's like, you know, you're going to have to really utilize your discernment for that. But I feel like, you know, to completely block them out out of fear or, you know, some type of trauma from the past is, is really more so hurting you than it is them. All right. We were so close. Gray area. All right. So it seems like some of you guys... You know, this person, they feel like every single time, maybe you already know this person, or maybe when you get to meet this person, it could come to a space where you start feeling a little intimidated because of how close you guys start to become. Like, you know, this person is going to be open with you. Like I said, they're very mature, so they're going to tell you how they're feeling. Um, they're not holding shit back. They're not holding shit back, but the problem is... Someone broke this connection or runs from this connection when it gets real. Like when shit got real, the boss left head ass, you know. So it seems like, sure enough, Capricorn, when shit gets real, you dip, you leave. Why? You really want this person too and you want this connection. But, you know, every single time they're ready to take you seriously or you actually get close to having what you desire, you back off. <clears throat> look no pain no pleasure all right so the person that you're dealing with could be an earth sign Taurus, virgo capricorn they're like you know I, I cannot deal with the in and out shit again if you haven't met this person take it take it as applies but uh the no pain no pleasure makes me feel like this person feels like you know don't just chill with me or fuck with me during the good times like you know if it's getting real and i'm happening to go through something or some shit is not you know feeling right like face it with me this person wants you to be as mature and emotionally available as they are especially when it comes down to the the hard times okay they don't want you to run away from the situation they don't want you to run away from responsibility like oh it's not easy so i don't want it no more like no nah, they want you to stick it through Alrighty, so again, if you're looking to pursue this person and then they start to give you a little bit of their time or attention and then you start pulling back because you have some fears or insecurities or don't know what the fuck their motive is or what they're up to, it's like there's a fine line between like your fucking insecurities and shit and, you know, some shit that's actually happening. Like you really could self-sabotage this situation if you are in your head too much, Capricorn. I ain't gonna keep you waiting in the reverse. Yeah, see, you, you, I feel like you are a bit afraid of this connection, or you will be a bit afraid of this connection because this could possibly be someone that you really, really want. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you've settled for situations in the past, and so it was no biggie for you to, you know, be in and out. But I feel with this person, you want them you you truly desire them you want a connection with them and i feel every time they start to show you like okay i'll you know i'll fuck with it because this person is mature they're serious um you start to play games or you start to get in your head about it that's just what i'm saying period them reversals came out telling on your ass capricorn <laughs> look to a pinnacles reverse like release them burdens i don't feel like this person is doing anything that your mind and told you they're doing they're not they're not. You're just convinced of it because of shit that's happened to you in your past, possibly. Or you just not trusting people in general, alrighty? So you got some type of trust issues going on here. And that no pain, no pleasure card is standing out to me like, hey, you cannot have no weak-ass foundation thinking that everything is going to be all honky-dory. It's not to say that you got to struggle. It's just to say that, you know, if 
you happen to or if your person is or y'all going through some type of tough time that's not like the the license to run okay that's not when you're supposed to dip that's when you're supposed to really stick it through and figure it out i just saw that full card you guys could be doing with an aries Alrighty, yeah you could be feeling like this motherfucker is your divine masculine but you're intimidated by that because you're like you know you you you'll fuck around break my heart and I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> like, you really do feel you'll really melt for this person. You'll melt for this person. Like, you like them that fucking much. Damn, I'm gonna block your shit out. Okay, a whole little stack film for him. Grab him. I'm put this down so y'all can see. Okay, yeah, look at that. Judgment, Hierophant. <sighs> two of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Wands reverse. Okay, so with this judgment energy, you guys are. You're making a call on this. I feel you're making a judgment call on this situation. I feel you're like overall you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna stick to your ways. You know what I'm saying? And it's looking like you you're afraid of this connection or you're just not ready or feeling ready for this connection. You feel like you need more time is what I'm picking up with this. Uh, but the higher fine is here and the judgment is here. So it's like you're making a judgment call based on tradition, based on what you typically do, what you would usually do. And it seems like you're usually in the space of planning, thinking about it, contemplating. You know, it's like you have ideas. You have, you watch this person. You watch them. It's almost as though they're your world. They are everything. And it's almost like you want them so much that you can't even fathom the idea of actually having them. You know what I mean? Like right away, you like if I lose this person after getting all involved with them and, you know, falling for them and all like committing to them and shit, then it's going to really fuck me up. Because then you got the five of pentacles here. You're afraid that they're going to leave you out in the cold. You're afraid that if it doesn't work out or, you know, if some shit you know, hits the fan that they're just going to say, fuck it. I see like a fan as well right here with the uh, pinnacles up there. That's like, yeah, you feel like the shit hits the fan. You know, they're, they're going to leave you out in the cold. And that's the reason why you're kind of just like, no, I'm not going to make any more plans, uh, you know, to engage in this and move forward in this because it's too risky. You feel like something's too risky. You have the page of wands reverse. Yeah. So instead of being led by your heart or your passions or, you know, things like that, you're deciding to put those on hold for right now. You have the two of pentacles reverse. Yes. Yeah, like you're not looking to make this person a priority or an option because again, you're, you could feel like they're juggling and you could also feel like they're married or they have something going on that you're unaware of. Um, I'm not getting that energy from them or, you know, from the cards, but I do feel like this is like you are making up your mind. You're going to make up your mind in this situation to just leave it alone because you feel like it's too much. But I feel spirit is just trying to let you know, like, hey, I see what you're doing, Capricorn. <laughs> I see what you're doing. You should have let your guard down with this one. You know what I'm saying? But okay, it's, it's your choice. It's your decision. It's really like no right or wrong is when I'm picking up with the two of pentacles reverse as well. It's like you're releasing all concerns so that you don't even have to worry about which one is good for you and which one isn't. It's like, fuck it. I'm going to just stay by myself so I know I'm good. All right. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Uh, good luck with that. Maybe this person caused you some stress and some pain in the past because it says that we were so close. You know what I mean? So if this is a previous connection that you um, endured, then maybe that's the reason why you're not trusting it or you don't want to get involved anymore. Because while it sounds good, maybe this person just has a history, a tradition of breaking your heart, hurting you, making you feel, I'm hearing less than with the five of pentacles, making you feel left out. Like, you know, this person, um, if they are up to no good, because that is what you're feeling strongly with this no pain, no pleasure in this person. Like in their defense, they're like, you know, I shouldn't 
be left alone just because this shit isn't perfect and according to you it's enough like enough is enough so maybe there's no pain no pleasure it's like maybe they've done things to you multiple times that caused a lot of pain you know what i mean and they figure hey like you know it's creating a stronger foundation with the green energy but you agree to disagree you like nah you you're <laughs> it's breaking me down too much you know you feel like this person done left you out to, to suffer, left you in pain too many fucking times. And if anything, you're thinking about moving away from them with the two of wands. You're like, fuck this shit. You know, you're thinking about moving away from them and leaving them out in the cold rather than connecting with them because you feel like, you know, there's nothing more you can gain out of the connection besides potential. The two of wands is like, you know, you could see what you guys could be. Y'all were so close, you know, but it still didn't go where it should have gone. It went from the two of wands to the five of pentacles. So somebody got dissed or ghosted or left out in the cold with no apologies, all right? And so maybe that is the reason why you're sticking to your guns with the higher fine and making the judgment call because you feel like enough is enough with this motherfucker, all right? So I get it. I get it either way, however it goes. I get it, Capricorn. I hope this helps. Good luck to you guys. Love you. And I'll see you next time.